Fly FM. How how are you uh, when you were landed this role for Eurovision? Oh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was such a great proposition, you know, to do a a musical comedy with Will Farrell set at the Eurovision Song Contest. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it in Malaysia, but growing up in Europe, you know, it's it's a huge thing. And uh, it was amazing to me that that somebody was going to do a comedy set there. And um, yeah, just so much fun and such a such a ridiculous character in Alexander Lemtov. I just, you know, leapt at it. Yeah. <laughs> How do you practice your Russian accent for the character? <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of YouTube research. Uh, I've got a couple of <laughs> Russian friends who helped out and um, just a bit of a bit of imagination, really. And, uh, you know, a sort of blend of a few Russians I've met in the past uh, who have, you know, particular attitudes. <laughs> yeah. Right. So uh, did you channel your inner Russian when you when you were playing the role? Yeah, I mean, I think there's something about that kind of uh, mysteriously wealthy Russian that's that's always funny, you know. And uh, somebody who has that amount of kind of ridiculous wealth just sees the world in a in a particular way that's very different to, say, you know, an, an innocent girl from Iceland, you know. And so throwing them together just makes for makes for some pretty fun scenes. Yeah, how was it when you guys shot the film? Because everyone has their own accents and it's not your original accents, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot yeah. of takes that had to be, you know. Well, there was definitely, you know, Will and Rachel obviously doing their Icelandic thing and me trying to do my Russian thing. And then, you know, you have uh, Melissa trying to do her, well, she's Greek, but doing a, a Greek accent. And, uh, you know, if we had group scenes, we found that all of our accents would kind of meld into this sort of Euro accent that we just sort yeah. of did this like, <laughs> generic European thing, which is very appropriate for Eurovision, I think. But, but does it get confusing because everyone's doing the accent and you might, oh, oh, I did an excellent accent there or, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, it depends on how you work, but you often try and find a, a, a phrase or a little kind of word or something that will key you back in. I think with Lemtov, it was something like, of course, you know. And, uh, <laughs> yes, you got the Russian accent yeah. down, very good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you actually pick up uh, any uh, Icelandic when during filming? Did you... Any, any, I don't anything? think I did, you know. I mean, uh, no, I'm, a lot of my stuff, you know, all of, all of my stuff was, was shot in the UK, so I didn't get to go to Iceland, sadly, but I would love to go one day. All right. What was your favorite song from uh, when you were singing Eurovision? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, Lion of Love takes a lot of beating. I mean, it was, uh, it was a pretty epic number. Um, I really like the Greek song Masquerade. I think that's a pretty fun one. But there are, there are 12 original songs in this movie, and, you know, they're... They range from, you know, really excellent to really weird. And uh, you know, <laughs> challenge for the songwriters to actually, you know, because those guys write for genuine pop acts and their, you know, their day job is to write really excellent songs that are going to sell, you know, millions of records worldwide. And so for them to actually write something that was maybe a little bad was quite a challenge for them. Yo, the song that yeah. you sang, I mean, it's fantastic, man. Yeah. I think it's the most powerful song in the movie to me. Absolutely. And I think it should replace all the Lion King songs. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and down. That's right. <laughs> I think Next someone time. should should cut a video, uh, you know, with the extracts from the Lion King to that to that track. I'm sure it will happen. Uh, how far are you from uh, uh, your normal self to the character that you played in the movie? <laughs> Uh, you know, hopefully quite far. You know, there's always a, there's a little bit of yeah. Wardrobe-wise, would do you have any? Wardrobe-wise, any not that far. You know. Okay. Uh, far, okay. <laughs> so basically, you just went back home, got his clothes, and then went to. Just, yeah, yeah. Took off my shirt, and that was it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan, I think uh, our time is almost up. Thank you so much. Right, uh, thanks, guys. From Malaysia. Would love to see you come by, you know, enjoy our beaches and enjoy our food, especially. I hope so, one day, yeah. Yeah, we got face masks for you, don't worry. <laughs> Fly FM, today's hottest music.